Welcome tonight to Watoto's live tour that we are hosting online on our uh, YouTube channel. Uh, we're so glad that you made it out for this to support this ministry that is uh, taking care of these women and children of Uganda and South Sudan. Uh, we're so grateful for their ministry and we want to support them. So as you watch this video or afterwards, uh, consider giving. Uh, to this mission. Uh, you can do so in uh, two different ways. I want to point those out to you before the video starts. Uh, first off is by a one-time donation to continue to rescue those who are most in need of the women and children in Uganda and South Sudan. So uh, you can do that by going to watoto.com and then finding the donate now button and you can donate there uh, as well as you can give an ongoing donation by sponsoring a child and for forty one dollars a month you can sponsor a child and supply food shelter clothing education spiritual discipleship and so much more uh, the love that these kids need and to share the love of christ with them so if that's it, if the lord is putting that on your heart please go to watoto.com and find the sponsorship uh, button and there you can you can sponsor as well. We'll put those details uh, into the, our, our details of our channel so you can find them later as well. But I hope you are blessed by this presentation from Utoto. Joy that I found in you 
Auditorium. We are the Watoto Children's Choir, and we are so excited to share with you this worship experience right where you are. God has been so good to us. My name is Wycliffe, and I am so grateful for what Jesus has done in my life. I could not go to school like other children because my mother could not afford it. But through Watoto, I am now able to go to school. I think we can all find something to be grateful for. If you're watching with your friends or family, why don't you turn to them and tell them one thing that you're grateful for? And now, we would like you to rise to your feet and join us as we worship Jesus. Come on, put your hands together nicely. Come on. amazing. Right here at Potato Church, we believe that there is no one in the world like Jesus. And you know what? We love to celebrate Jesus. Would you join us on this next song? It's really easy. Just watch the children and do exactly what they do. Are you ready? Here we go. Come on. That's right. Let's sing together. Jesus will lift your name.
says the Lord lifts the poor from the dirt he takes the helpless from the ashes and places them among princes and royalty this is exactly what God has done in all our lives I was told that my mom was very sick when I was born I was then left with my grandfather who was too poor and old to look after me a concerned member in the community Asked Watoto to help, later as brought to Watoto village. This is how my story began. Today, I am 11 years old and I know that my identity is in Jesus. Amen. No matter what the past looks like, we know that God loves us. He has a plan for our lives and he will never leave us. Your story may be different, but Jesus is the same. He is faithful, loving, kind, and he cares about us. That's right. He hears us when we call on him and meets us right where we are. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child. Chosen me, love has called my name. I've been born again into a family. Your blood flows through my veins. I'm no longer.
know we all have fears in our lives and fear has many faces I used to be afraid of failing exams but when Jesus came into my life he showed me that I am the head and not the tail he gave me wisdom friends what are your fears are you worried of what's happening in the world today well if you are scared of anything in life we want you to remember that Jesus is always with you and is bigger than any fear you may face in your life the Bible says in Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 do not be afraid do not be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you will go when mountains stand before me and my strength is failing I will call on Jesus and they'll be swept away storm is raging and my faith is shaken I will call on Jesus who waves and wind obeys Join us and sing with my heart. When my heart is broken. And my peace. And my peace is fair.
Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much, children, for reminding us that there is power in the name of Jesus, that there is healing in the name of Jesus, and there is victory in the name of Jesus. Wow, wow, wow. I want to ask you to join us right now to pray together. We're going to take a short moment before the children's choir carries on um, uh, ministering to us. We just want to pray. But before we do that, I want to read you the words of King David from the book of Psalms, chapter 8. Here's what David said. Lord, your name is so great and powerful. People everywhere see your splendor. Your glorious majesty streams from the heavens, filling the earth with the fame of your name. And Vastu says, you have built a stronghold by the songs of babies. <laughs> Strength rises up with the chorus of singing children. This kind of praise, David says, has the power to shut Satan's mouth. Wow, wow, wow. When we praise God, he shows up in power and he will shut Satan's mouth. And this same God has the power to turn around the situation that we're experiencing in the globe right now. So I want to invite you to join me in prayer right now. Dear Father, we come to you in that powerful name of Jesus, knowing that when we pray, you hear us. And so, Lord, I call upon your name concerning the situation in our globe with this coronavirus pandemic. I pray, stretch out your mighty hand and put an end to this pandemic. We pray for those men and women that are right at the front line working hard to contain this pandemic. Lord, I ask you, would you give them wisdom? Would you watch over them as they go about their duties? We also pray for those, God, that have lost loved ones in this season. We ask you to comfort them. God, we also remember those who have lost jobs or their businesses have been affected. Lord, would you restore them? Would you provide for them everything they need during this season? Oh God, I cry out to you and pray, let your peace cover this earth. We are confident of this, God, that you love us perfectly. And there is nothing happening right now that can separate us from your love. And your perfect love drives out every form of fear. And so we choose not to fear. We choose today to have faith in you that you will bring us through this season in that powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Before I go, I want to extend an invitation to you, my friend, who does not have a personal relationship with God. Maybe you have walked away from God and in this season you are thinking about coming back to Jesus. I want to encourage you, make that decision right now. And if that's you, I would like to lead you in a very simple prayer. Repeat after me and say, Dear Jesus, I thank you that you love me. I ask you to forgive me of all my sin and make me a child of God. In your powerful name I pray. Amen. Come on children, let's welcome our friends that have prayed that prayer today. Yeah, yeah. You are now part of the family of God. And the Bible says there's a party in heaven, but we want to also join you and celebrate the Ugandan style with a party right here from the Watoro Children's Choir. Come on. Come on, get up on your feet right where you are in your room. And we're going to turn that place right into a massive dance floor. Are you ready to celebrate? Yeah. All right now, put your hands together like this. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Let me see you jump around. Let's sing it out. I'm coming back. I'm coming back to the start. Where you found me, 
has a story and I've learned that God can use our stories to bring hope and freedom to others. My story is very similar to the stories of these beautiful children. I did not have the privilege of growing up with both of my parents. My father had so many wives and as a result, my mother got HIV AIDS. She fell sick and later on died, leaving me in the care of my grandmother. We lived in a very old shack and whenever it would rain, the roof would leak. There were so many days that we went without food. But I love Jeremiah 29, 11 in the Bible. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. I joined Watoto when I was five years old and God's plan for my life began to unfold. I was given a new family and Mama Aaron loved, Mama Aaron loved me like her own daughter. Four years ago, I finished school and graduated with a bachelor's degree in community psychology. Because I've been given such an amazing opportunity, I've decided to invest my life as a mentor to my little brothers and sisters on the choirs. Over the past 20 years, I've seen thousands of children rescued just like me and raised to become leaders. Watoto is committed to rebuilding families in Uganda, but we are only able to do what we do with the help of friends like you from all around the world. So, we'd like to say thank you so much for your faithful generosity. We would never do what we do without your support. And from here in Uganda, we want to say, Weva Le. Open our eyes to see the need. Open our ears to hear the cry. The broken hearted, the wounded soul, you're calling us. We will go, we will be your hands and feet. We will run, we will reach back.
Oh, oh.